Hello, hello, welcome back. Today we'll be going over how to make a drawing sheet in Onshape, throwing all our parts onto it, and doing everything we need to do with it. What is it that we're going to do with it exactly? We're going to start the drawing sheet. We're going to insert the parts that we want, all the different parts, all four of them for our uh, example here. Uh, they all have different views, so we're going to have the three orthographic views as well as our isometric view. We're going to do all our notations, as in we're going to have center lines, we're going to have center marks, and we're also going to dimension the whole thing every single one and then um, I'll talk about updating the title block and making sure that's what you want all right so let us begin we're over here in our part drawings and uh, how do you begin right just like before when we started uh, new drawing sheets or new part studios down here it says create drawing so we're gonna go ahead and create drawing uh, yours won't have these are a history of mine that I've done in the past yours go up to on shape we're actually going to choose ANSI C inch, right? Make sure you pay attention to whether or not it's millimeter or inch based on what you've drawn your parts in. By default, ours are all set to inch. We're going to import inch, all right? C size. Click OK. Loading, loading, loading. All right, so this pops up. If you did not draw all four of your parts down here, they won't show up right here. And if you didn't do that, you'll have to go into other documents and find your other ones, right? But since I drew all four here, all four of mine are here, and now you can just go to the one you want. So the first one we did was clamp block. Look over on the side here. We're starting to import or place our front view of our clamp block. Uh, I want to fit all four in the sheet, and I feel that one-to-one -one scale is a little big for this. So over here, before even placing anything, you can change your scale. And I'm going to change it one to two, so half scale. All right, and the clamp block's my first one. I'm just going to click my front view because that's where the front view goes. Now, look, I'm moving my mouse over. It's automatically going to give me my right view. And you'll notice that this is still highlighted. Since this button up here, projected view, is still highlighted, that means if I click on the view again and drag up, it'll give me my next view. So I have my three orthographic views right now, and I want my isometric view as well. So I click, and I go in an angle. And there's my isometric view. All right, so I now have inserted all four views for these parts. Great job. You want to insert your next part. Go ahead here. Go to your drop down. Nope, nope. Go to your insert button, sorry. And here's your next part. I think the next one was clamp plate. So go ahead and click on clamp plate. It's still one to two. It remembers that from previously. And do the same thing. One, two. Click on the front again. Drag up. Click on the front again. Drag over at an angle. All right, I'm going to stop there with just these two. You can pull in your other two as well. I'm going to unclick this now. By unclicking this, now I can move things around. So say I don't like the placement. I thought this is a little tight. If I click on my front view and drag it down, it'll automatically move my other things, right? It automatically will make sure things are lined up, which you want to happen, except for the ISO. All right, now let's add the other stuff. So what did I say we were going to go over? We've inserted our views. We need center lines, center marks, and hidden lines. So that is right away on this. If you right click on your view, a bunch of other options come up. So I want to show hidden lines. You have to actually do this to all of your views. Show hidden lines, show hidden lines, right? You don't need to show hidden lines in your isometric. And look, there was no hidden lines in that view, but show hidden lines, show hidden lines. Now for the isometric views though, I do want you to show it being colored. And if you have your color, you want to show shaded view. So right click on your isometric, show shaded view. All right. Up top here now is where we can put our other notations. So this second one here, edge to edge center line, first one's two point center line. Edge to edge center line is the one that will be easiest for us in our projected views on the side. That if you just zoom and touch here, so I don't misclick, click, click, there you go. It gave me the, the center line. I still have this highlighted. Click, click. It will give me the center line in between. If you have the hole already, go to this one over here, center mark, and just click on the hole. You don't need any of those on the isometric. I'll do it again down here. Click on center mark, click on center mark. Two line, edge to end center line. Click, click, right? Any hole, any circle you have, you need a center line. There you go. And now what was the last thing we need here? Center lines, center marks, hidden lines, and now we need to do dimensions, right? So up top here is our dimension button. It's just like before when we were doing our sketches, it's the same symbol. And now if I click on lines, 
drag out, click, it'll dimension everything for us. Now remember, you don't need to duplicate any dimensions. So since I dimensioned this right here, I don't need to do it up top in my top view, right? If you want to expand across, you can just click on the points and then drag up. Perfect. You want to do a circle, just click on the edge of the circle and automatically do it for you, right? Click on the sides, right? Try and avoid things crossing. So maybe instead of that one, um, I could have done this one instead, right? And then this one. And now if I hit escape, escape, click on that one and delete it, right? 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 2.5, the four is over there. I don't need the value over there. Uh, but we do need the length on this one, right? We do need this one. Is that all the dimensions we need for this? I think it is. Hole goes through. 0.65, step, 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 there, there. Yep, I think that's all the dimensions for that. All right, you're going to do that for all four uh, parts. Make sure you're showing hidden lines, make sure you're using center marks, and shade your isometric views. Make sure you have all your views. And then the last thing is down here in the title block. I'm still in dimension, I'm going to escape out of that. So here they already have spots for you to uh, enter in your values. It's got your name already here. It's got the date. C size is what we've imported, which is what we want. Scale, it's already set to what we've been importing our parts as. If you change the parts in between, they'll automatically put in a scale value underneath. But you just need to edit it down here. So let's say this is, make sure you, you have to highlight the things that, the dash marks. I will call this, um, all caps, sorry, caps lock on parts, sheet one. All right, this is our first parts that we did. Hit the check mark. It still keeps these other ones, so you have to actually go and delete them for us. And then sheet one of one, drawing number, we'll just say is double click in to edit. Sorry, I light it all. One, check mark. All right, all this should be updated with your name on it. And that's pretty much it. Simple, right? Can I go over everything? Yes. Go me. Good luck, have fun.